This is Mission Control Houston. Of course, as we've been talking about, this uh, Cygnus spacecraft has been christened the G. David Lowe uh, by the company. Of course, Lowe was a former NASA astronaut. He flew three times, went on to work for Orbital Science, uh, was one of the architects of this COTS demonstration mission. Uh, those three missions that he flew, STS-32, STS-43, and STS-57, on one of them, one of his uh, colleagues and fellow astronauts was astronaut Shannon Lucid. Of course, Lucid was a, a fixture here at uh, NASA as both an astronaut and a Capcom. We haven't talked to her in a while, so she is now joining us on the phone. Shannon, how have you been, first of all? Oh, I've been just great. And have you been? Well, we've been busy around here. We, we miss seeing you around here and hearing your voice, obviously, on the loops. Oh, I really miss working, but, you know, life goes on. <laughs> so let's talk about G. David Lowe. You flew with him back uh, in uh, 1991 on Atlantis. Let's talk about that mission a little bit. Okay. So, you know, whenever you train with your colleagues, like, talk a little bit about the process for that. I mean, you train for more than a year, sometimes up to two years. Like, how, how close do you become, uh, you know, both as colleagues and both as sort of a, you know, pseudo family? And what do you remember about G. David Lowe? Well, you do, uh, you train with, uh, you know, your colleagues for a long period of time, and you get to know them fairly well. And it, you really sort of become a pseudo family, like you said. And um, it was really a privilege to be with uh, Dave, and it was a lot of fun. He was uh, younger than I was, and he wasn't married at that time. But he, you know, uh, especially John Blaha, who was a commander, and myself, we kept telling him, you know, the joys of being married. And uh, he then we found out that he was going with the person that was doing our flight data file. And so we had a good time, uh, you know, uh, ribbing uh, Dave a lot about uh, <laughs> that. It was just a real good time. We had so much fun together. So let's talk about the mission itself. You know, I was reading the description of it, and it, 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 it's interesting, and it's, and it's kind of ironic, I guess, that, that Cygnus is now, you know, named after him, and it's flying after the station, carrying a lot of science, because that flight had a ton of science on it that was sort of be the precursor uh, to a lot of the stuff that they do on board station right now, right? It, it was, and um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but as my memory, as, as I remember, I think that flight was a nine-day flight, and that was uh, one of the longest flights, up, you know, at that time. And we were thinking towards spa uh, station at that time. And I know we had the lower uh, body pressure negative apparatus on board, and, uh, you know, where Dave would get in there, and then I would do ultrasound of his heart. And Dave was really, really into the science and wanting to contribute to, uh, you know, the furtherance of space flight and to space station, which we were, you know, it was just sort of a gleam in our eye at that time, and we were thinking to the future. Yeah, I'm reading this. It was 32 physical material and life science experiments, and they're talking about extended duration orbiter and space station freedom, which, of course, was the original incarnation of the space station, but it would go on to become the International Space Station, right? Right, right. And it seemed like, oh, you know, we're going to go for nine days. It seemed like uh, such a stretch at that time. <laughs> So let's talk about, you know, you doing these, these science experiments on board. Did you have any idea that, that you know, several years later that, uh, you know, this stuff would become what is now the International Space Station, and, you know, now they're doing up to 200 experiments at a time? Uh, no. We, you know, we did not know, but we certainly hoped that uh, what we were doing and the input that we made, um, you know, to the design of the experiments and how we could do them better. We certainly hope that it would uh, lead to space station and lead to a furtherance of science in space. So as you look at this vehicle that just arrived at the space station here in the last few hours and it's got the name of your former colleague, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's, uh, it's, it is a, an apropos uh, name to give this first uh, Cygnus vehicle? Yes, I think it is just absolutely wonderful, and I am so glad that Orbital did that. I mean, um, I can't think of a better name to give the vehicle, and I can't think of a better way to honor Dave. Dave was uh, such a space enthusi enthusiast, and he, you know, wanted to see uh, space exploration go on. He wanted to see science uh, being done in space, and you know, he would just be so happy to think that uh, he's being honored in this way. 
Well, Shannon, we miss you around here. We miss hearing your voice. We miss the wake-up calls. Obviously, we uh, you know we hope to see you around here at some other point, but we also hope that uh, you're enjoying your time off and uh, not working too much. Well, life is going on, and life is good, and I miss all of you all, too. And I'm glad that uh, we had this opportunity to honor Dave today. Well, Shannon, thanks so much. You're very welcome.